In question two of this series, where we learn how to write equations for acid-base reactions involving weak acids, we're asked, write the net ionic equation for the reaction between formic acid, which has the chemical formula HCHO2, and sodium hydroxide. So let's start with the molecular equation. We have HCHO2 plus NaOH. Given that this is our weak acid, it will only partially dissociate. So this cation, the Na, will form a chemical bond with the anion of formic acid, namely CHO2. This H and this OH will come together to form water. So this yields H2O, and that's in its liquid state, plus sodium CHO2, NaCHO2. Don't forget the states of each of these. This is aqueous, so I'll write down AQ, AQ, and AQ over here. Now I need to make sure that this is balanced. Let's see if it is. We have one sodium on the right side, one on the left side. I have one, two hydrogens, and over here I have two hydrogens plus one oxygen, and we have that one oxygen there. We also have one CHO2 and one on the left side. So this is perfectly balanced. Now I can show you the ionic equation. The difference between weak acids and strong acids, as discussed in question number one, is that weak acids only partially dissociate. So this compound will not dissociate. We'll leave it the way it is. HCHO2 plus, this will dissociate, it's a base, Na1 plus plus OH1 minus. This yields H2O, which will stay the way it is because it's in its liquid state, not aqueous. I'll write down L, and I'll write down AQ for the other compounds afterwards. Plus Na, this will dissociate, plus CHO2, 1 minus. Now we have to get rid of our spectator ions. Notice we have a sodium ion on the right side and one on the left side. Everything else, on the other hand, will stay where it is. So for our net ionic equation, we have HCHO2 aqueous plus OH 1 minus. This yields H2O and CHO2 1 minus. That right there is the answer to question number two, and that is how to write equations for acid-base reactions involving weak acids.